Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Dollar Tree items for our candy cane tiered tray. So DIY number one. I'm going to be using white and red. I thought I might use green for some lines in the candy cane, but I decided not to. I'll be using the white and red throughout this whole video. So these little brain teaser games that you can get at Dollar Tree, I thought it would be cute to grab one and I like different decor, <laughs> things you don't normally see in the store. So I thought this would be a cute little accent piece for my tiered tray. So on the um, natural wood, I'm painting them white, setting it aside to dry. Once it's dry, I come back in and on the more orangey wood that you see, I'm going to be painting that red. Throughout this video, I'm going to be doing DIYs with Dollar Tree items, but then after I'm done with doing my DIYs, I'm going to show you some items at Dollar Tree that you can get for your tiered tray that you have to do very minimal to. <laughs> so this is a pretty fun video for me. Um, on the white, once I was once the red was dry, I came back in and kind of dry brushed red lines. Um, to give that candy cane effect, but I thought it would be cool to keep the red solid and not put white lines on the red. I thought that would be too busy. I think this gives the illusion of what it's supposed to be, candy cane decor, without going uh, overboard with it. And it's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love how this turned out. So stay tuned to the end to see how I decorate with it on my tray. DIY number two. This is a house that you can get from Dollar Tree. And in a previous DIY, I turned it into a birdhouse. I added galvanized top from a sign. Here is a house that I will link up top um, that I made out of Jenga blocks in case you can't find these homes. I know they're seasonal um, and you might have one in your stash if not. You can watch that tutorial on how to make one yourself using Jungle Blocks. So I wanted to keep like the black outline um, and I wanted to turn this into like a little candy cane candy. Um, I was struggling, <laughs> as you'll see. <laughs> I probably painted this little circle. I can't even tell you how many times and I just didn't like it. So I kept fixing it. I kept redoing it. Finally. It is what it is and how it ended up actually was super cute, but yeah, you don't need to paint this little circle so many times. <laughs> On the bird perch, I just added some red lines to make the candy cane stripes. Now, the top, as I said, was probably a little galvanized sign either from Dollar Tree or Dollar General that I had cut just to make the top of this house. So. I can't even remember what video I made this house in, but it's so easy to make into a little birdhouse. And as you can see, it's very easy to change it up for seasonal decor as well. Because if I want it back to a birdhouse, all I have to do is paint that circle black and fix the perch and paint the base white. <laughs> Easily changed. So I thought this would be cute, adding some candy canes on the side. And then I just come back in with white and kind of dry brush the lines on them, add a few bows, and this is so stinking cute for my tiered tray.
Doesn't that just make the cutest little candy cane house? And so perfect, perfect size for the tiered tray, especially if you have a ginormous one like I do. <laughs> so on to DIY number three. And this is another one I'm gonna be making for my tray using a sled ornament from Dollar Tree. Now, first you just gotta remove everything. I always try to salvage some stuff um, like the greenery, the berries, the little pine cones. Um, I did not realize taking all of this off that uh, sled how much glue they used. <laughs> they use as much glue as I do <laughs> and you can't get it off but we're going to be covering it so I'm not really worried about it. So I used some white chalk paint and I painted the front, the back, the sides, everything. Um, because this will be leaning, so you probably will be able to see everything. So I just gave this a real generous coat of white chalk paint. After that was dry, I came in with some Waverly Red. And see the S's on the sled? I thought those would make cute little candy canes. So I painted the S's red. And then I come back with some white, probably later on. And I draw some lines to turn those into cute little candy canes on the side of the sled. My Dollar Tree sells two different styles of these straws and I bought both styles. I will be using both in this video. So I just kind of eyeballed the straw, cut it down to size and I think it took nine straws cut down to size to cover the top of the sled and I just hot glued them all down in a row. You cannot see, it makes like one big base now, you can't see the individual so if you only wanted to do two straws on each, if you like the gap in between, then that's then you would only need six. <laughs> that's an option as well. The front of the sled where it's rounded was a little more challenging. I thought maybe I could flatten out a straw and kind of maneuver it, but that wasn't working. So I just flattened it and I cut it on an angle and I put two pieces together to cover that top piece. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you I tried to even out my pieces a little bit and this is plastic so you can use your scissors and kind of cut it in a more straight line or do a better job cutting the straws than I did. <laughs> so like I said in the beginning I do come back in with a real fine paintbrush and I add white lines to those S's to turn them into candy canes. This Christmas I only want to be close to you I 
I came in with a uh, paintbrush with some red paint and I kind of did some highlighting with the red around all the edges of the sleigh and I just think that makes it pop. Whatever we do we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. It's a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and take a listen. It's starting to look like a candy cane sled. It's so cute. Like I said, I always save the little berries and the garland, anything I know I can salvage off these pieces. So I have quite a collection. <laughs> So I took some of the garland, it might have came from this one, I'm not sure, and I took the berries and I kind of just folded them down. I wanted them to kind of hang down and they were on a pick, so I kind of maneuvered it so they were all bunched together and hot glued that under the garland. I added back one of the Dollar Tree pine cones and then I gave it a nice little brushing of white paint for a flocked look. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the wind blows. I finished this off with some red and white ribbon and just kind of tied it, bunched it together, tied it in the center and cut the ends because I just wanted it to be just a little bunchy bow at the top. Um... And then I hot glued that to the top on the garland. And you have a, the cutest little candy cane sled. I was not happy with how the bottom was still looking. So I opted to come back and take that white and red ribbon that I have, or string, and I wrapped it around the bottom. And then I actually put some string in front too, as you'll see me do, just to kind of hide the cut edges of the straws. And then I was super happy with how this little sled came out. I wanted to tell you guys that um, I'm also going to show you in this video that just because you're making a, like a themed tear tray, everything doesn't have to be that theme. <laughs> this is going to be a candy cane tear tray, but not everything I'm putting on my tear tray is candy cane, um, but it is color related. So I'm trying to stay within the red and white, but there's going to be some filler pieces. There's going to be some accent pieces that you can get from Dollar Tree that are great to put on your tear tray to go with your theme so keep on watching guys in a few minutes you'll see what i mean what i'm talking about <laughs> how you can use just other items to really bring the look all come together it's gonna come and join us in this song DIY number four is going to be a candy cane sign. So I took one of these tag signs from Dollar Tree and I thought maybe I could rip that, just peel that off. It wasn't going to peel off. So I removed the sticker from the back and we're just going to use the back of this sign. Now I bought this tissue paper that I've been dying to use. So I knew I needed to give this back a real nice coat of white paint. 
That way you wouldn't see the brown through the tissue paper and I thought maybe it would make the tissue paper pop. I decided to use Mod Podge first, which was a big mistake. <laughs> and you get like different designs, red, green, candy canes, and I think lights in this tissue paper. So I grabbed the candy cane out of it and I thought I could Mod Podge it down. <laughs> oh my gosh, why do I keep trying? Um, yeah, that didn't work. So right now you see me cutting the tissue paper down to size putting the Mod Podge on the tag, and then putting the tissue paper, and then pulling the tissue paper up, and then repositioning it, pulling it up, repositioning it. <laughs> I don't know why I can't just grab my glue stick, you know? But live and learn. I guess it takes me a lot of tries of something not working before I figure out not to do it. You get a lot of air bubbles, you get a lot of wrinkling, and yeah, I'm surprised I didn't rip this. So I went with it. I thought, okay, well, this will be the first coat, and then I grabbed another piece of tissue paper because I knew I could line those lines up, and I decided to grab my glue stick, put it on top of the existing tissue paper, and line the lines up and hot glue another piece on top of it. <laughs> that worked out really, really good. I trimmed off the excess, I came in with my diamond nail file and I sanded around the edges. And once you sand enough, you can just peel that tissue paper right away from the sign. I'm actually glad that I made that mistake because it was a really nice finished front of this with the two layers of the tissue paper. If you have any more wrinkles or bubbles, you can come in with your hot, um, your not hot glue don't do that with your heat gun <laughs> kind of go over it and you can kind of smooth out any wrinkles i did still have wrinkles but not as many as i would have had then i went and i grabbed some rub on transfers and i just put candy cane lane on here um at first when i was doing this i didn't care if it was crooked i just wanted it to be fun so i kind of did the first one going diagonal then when i did cane i kind of went straight and then a diagonal again um i knew my sign personally was going to be diagonal on my tray because my tray isn't tall enough to have it stand up straight so putting this on a slant worked for my tray you do this any way you want you do this how it will work for your tray um once i had it on the tray i wish i would have done all three words slanted and not done the cane go in a different direction um but you know it's still super cute you live and learn but like i said you do it the way it will work for your tray um where I was putting this on mine, I knew it had to be on a slant because the whole tag sign was going to be slanted. And I'm really good just going on and on about this, aren't I? <laughs> but you'll see what I mean at the end. I put a hanger on it, I added some ribbon and a little bow to the top, and then I took these berries from Dollar Tree that are foam, cut them in half, and I glued a couple of the frosted berries and a couple red berries to the sign as well to finish the look.
DIY number five. I love using dollhouse furniture and Dollar Tree has a lot of different pieces to choose from. So I saw that they had this little chair and I thought it was just so stinking cute. So I gave it a coat of that Waverly in red and then I came back in and on the legs and on the spindles on the back of the chair, I went over them with some white lines to turn them into candy canes. And I just thought this would be a great little piece to put on the tear tray. Um, for one, it's super cute, but to put something on top of it or have height on the tray. Um, and oh my gosh, I fell in love with this little chair. I should have bought more furniture and actually did like a dresser like this. And after I was done with the chair, I'm like, that is so stinking cute. I absolutely love this, but you'll see what I put on it next. So for the item that I'm going to put on the chair, I saved different lids from Soda Pop <laughs> and I had a red lid. So I took one of those bottle brush white trees from Dollar Tree and I glued it into the red lid. Um, I have a little jar on my desk that has Soda Pop lids. <laughs> Um, they come in handy for these little projects. So they had grooves in it. So I took some white paint and I just put lines in the grooves. And then I came around the top and added just a little bit of white paint around the top of it too. And that's going to be the base for the tree. Then all I had to do was take my red and white, red and white, I'm getting tongue tied, string kind of feed it into the bottle brush tree to make a red and white garland. And I finished off this cute little tree by putting a little berry on top. I didn't like that you could still see the base of the tree. So I came back in with some red paint and I covered up that base so it would match the soda pop top. Everyone's lighting candles in their homes. Yeah. Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas DIY number six This is a pot to a succulent and I had used a succulent in a, another project and I kept the base. The base has like rocks glued into it on the foam but it's a really cute white base. So using cl this clothesline that you can get at Dollar Tree it comes in red and white and green and white. I used this last year in a Christmas project as well. I just kind of hot glued it to the bottom to get it started and then I wrapped it around. I wanted it to look like a red and white candy cane wicker basket. So I just kept going around and around adding hot glue sporadically when I thought it I needed it until I got all the way up to the top. Christmas with so much love and with joy and laughter. Let us make memories that stay forever. It's Christmas today. All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you It makes the cutest little base for a bottle brush tree. 
So I used another one of those trees, but first I painted those um, stones inside of it white, and then I added a little red glitter to make it look like candy. Then I just put the bottle brush tree inside the hole where the succulent once was, and added some more of that striped ribbon and a berry on top, and voila, another cute and different candy cane Christmas tree. It's white outside, and the night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in their homes. Yes, it's Christmas. It's a magic time. You can feel it in the air that every child got their hearts filled up with joy. Yes, it's Christmas. Snow is falling down All the colored lights Lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year Is a time to So the next part of this video is going to, I'm going to show you how you can use Dollar Tree ornaments to finish off the look of your tiered tray. Now my tiered tray is candy cane theme, so I thought that grabbing pieces with red or white or even some of these pieces have some green in them. And these are the accent pieces to the candy cane pieces I made. So I took the garland off of this cute little red sled, added a little white and red striped bow, and then took some berries and just filled the sled with berries. Easy peasy, you're done. And it makes such a great little accent for your tear tray. As I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you The next little accent piece is one of these white buckets. It's in the wedding section. I grabbed some of this red sheer ribbon, which is very difficult to work with. I had to hot glue a little bit of it to the back. I ended up just tying it in a knot and having cut off little tails because tying this in a bow, it just wasn't working. But it was really cute and all I wanted was a hint of red on it anyway, so that worked. Then again, I put another tree in there and decorated this for a little accent piece on my tiered tray. Uh, and as I walk outside, Christmas choir sing. Merry Christmas to you Merry Christmas to you These little boots are another great accent, and these actually are white, red, and green, but they're so stinking cute. And I thought that it would be cute to take both kinds of the red straws, cut them down to size, and just put them in the boots. And easy peasy, you're done. My wishes are coming true, that's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here 
these bells are amazing i love them they come in white red i think they come in silver so i just took off the garland that was on it kept what i wanted out of the garland <laughs> and then i made my own bow using that uh, white and red candy cane string and i thought that fit the tear tray much better Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true that's why i cheer i've been busy decking the halls i've been kind to big and small and now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for christmas let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Sing a carol and we'll bring it here. Let's sing a carol. And I absolutely love this ski ornament. Oh my gosh. And you don't even have to do anything to it except cut the tag off. And that goes perfect with my theme as well as the snowman. He might not be the cutest snowman, but you put him in the back and he has that candy cane scarf and he will work perfect for the tray. You can always use those white buckets to give height as well. But we go camping all the time. We love camping and I love these teardrop campers. So I ended up gluing two of them together to make it a bigger camper and that will go on the tray as well. I found candy cane garland and snowflake garland at Dollar Tree and that just makes a great filler along with of course the berries that you can get. And this little ornament ho 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 sign. My tear tray's kind of large, so he's gonna go in the back for that pop of red. So this is all of the Dollar Tree items I really didn't have to do too much DIYing to that I'm gonna use for my tear tray, which we're gonna see right now. I recently spray painted my tray white and gave it a black accent on top, which I like so much better. So here is the tray with everything on it. It's so cute. I love doing themed tear trays because they're just so much fun to do. And I think this candy cane one just turned out so stinking cute. So I'm going to go play by play with you and show you how and where I put all of the little items on this tray and I just think it turned out really fun and so cute. I've never done a candy cane theme before. So I have my little boots on a stand I made. I have the candy cane house up front and center with the tree on my little chair and the other tree in the basket. And for filler, I used yarn and I just wrapped it around my finger, tied it in the center and kind of fluffed it into circles. And it makes a great snow, fluffy snow for your tray. And I used the snowflake garland also as a filler to put in the gaps. And then I have a white um, milk glass vase with some berries and greenery as a filler for the back of the top of my tray. Heading on down to the center of the tray. Oh, first I also added the garland, the berry 
garland white and red around each section so the center of the tray is the candy cane lane sign so i didn't want too much because i knew the sign was going to block a lot so i did a lot of the filler candy cane garland on this tier and i put the um bucket with the christmas tree i put santa in the back because from different angles you can see um all of my tray but you don't see it from behind if that makes any sense like if you're standing on the side of course you can see it. and so i kind of try to put things in the back and i have my sign crooked because that's how it fits and i put the bell next to it I also put some of the candy cane going around the center with some white berry garland. And I thought that tied in with the candy center tier. So heading on down to the bottom is the winter wonderland. And I have a snowball I made in my previous video, um, Christmas thrift store finds. So if you wanna see how I made that, go check out that video. The snowman I have sitting right next to that and the, the sleigh with the berries is in front of the snowball. There's our unique little candy cane blocks, which I think are so cute. I have the sled propped up against the center piece of the tray. And then I have the camper and the skis right next to that. Kind of just looks like a fun place to be, doesn't it? <laughs> You can sled, you can ski, you can go camping, you can make a snowman. I love the bottom of my tray. And that block uh, brain teaser game, I think it looks like Willy Wonka's everlasting gobstopper turn candy cane, doesn't it? <laughs> so cute. I finished the bottom as well with some berry garland. And yep, I think this tray just looks so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm loving how this one turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, tell me what was your favorite and let me know in the comments if you have a tiered tray that you're gonna be decorating for Christmas and what are you gonna be decorating it with? I would love to know. Um, I love you guys. I hope you all are having a blessed and wonderful day, a great week, and I'll see you guys soon. Love you, bye y'all.